What's up guys, Antoine here at DPR and this week I wanted to go over a new Dinker project we're working on at Indie Care of Dallas and it's called The Burn. Let's jump right into that. ago we made a video about another dinker project that uh, Brian and I are working on and it's called the cantaloupe gene so that video is on my channel you can go and check it out but Brian had a couple of dinker project that he's actually working on right now um, we did the cantaloupe first today we're gonna talk about the burn and we're gonna have also another gene that we're gonna unveil later on this uh, this winter but today it's full on burn and guys, it's crazy. Almost 10 years ago, Brian did some, um, you know, African imports of ball pythons. And like, that was a really common thing to do back then. And they were picking out some, you know, different looking animals and they did pick out a lot of animals. So there were like, when I started working here, it was a lot of dinkers, you know, the orange jungle, the gorilla, the burn, the cantaloupe, the apricot, uh, bunch of thinkers and really try to see the potential of each and every gene and trying to isolate also the genes and understand them properly. Um, the burn gene was really one of my favorite uh, when I started working here just because he had like a enchi burn yellow belly female and an enchi burn male and these two look absolutely wow they very nice adults and some of the animals that I'm going to uh, show you today are really the offspring of those said babies. So it's a really, really interesting project. All right, guys. So this is a single gene burn. So right away, you know, it really has the same coloration as a regular. But the very different thing that you can notice right now is the highlighted white part between, you know, the black and the alum heads. So they're really like some sort of highlight white all over the animal and it and it increase when you go around the neck. So you really have those kind of Allen head saddles with that very, very highlighted white um, coloration there. And this is something that you're going to see uh, in some of the combination with with the burn gene. So when you're trying to actually, you know, prove out a mutation or understand the way it works, there are some basic genes that you really want to try to work inside of your animal to, you know, really understand the effects of your gene um, with other known mutations. And I'm thinking about Mojave, Enchi, Yellow Belly, Orange Dream. These are some staple genes of our industry that are really, um, you know, affecting a lot of mutations. So if your gene is having an, an effect with those mutations, you're really on to something. And here's one that I'm really, really proud that we made. This is an orange dream burn. And this animal is really different than your typical orange dream. Not only does it influence the pattern, which is really, you know, busy, but also the coloration. Is This animal really looks like a very, very nice orange dream. And you still have the same kind of features when you zoom in, like, just try not to get bit when you zoom in here you still have that little bit of white tint inside of the allen has that is really typical to those uh burn combinations so orange dream burn is honestly one that i'm really really excited to see adding yellow belly or super super um those of orange dream in there will be very interesting okay so these next two well they're a little hard to actually showcase because um one of the gene is little known to the community and it's a honey gene uh, a lot of you have seen it with cypress but here it is without so here we have a honey yellow belly straight up very beautiful interaction and honestly i'm really really impressed by the look of just the honey yellow belly um honey is a bell mutation which means that a super honey is a totally white snake but here is when you add burn onto that animal you really mix the pattern colorations are fairly similar but then you still have that, you know, more express white highlights and it really like opens up the, you know, the flaming between the belly and the saddles of the animal. I'm also very happy because we managed to add burn inside of one of my favorite genes, which is the cypress. So we paired a honey cypress to a female burn yellow belly and we managed to hit, well, this is a cypress yellow belly, no burn in there. 
beautiful interaction and cypress is also a gene that enhance those you know uh white white outlines outside of the you know allen heads but when you add burn on top of it this is where it gets absolutely crazy look at this guys this is a burn cypress yellow belly the difference between those two animals is just crazy you have much more intensity inside of that snake the you know the pattern is fairly similar you have more of a, like a striped dorsal but it's really happening inside of you know the, the the side patterns of the animal the blushing is more intense there's some you know uh white sort of reverse teardrops that are coming out of the belly and the overall animal is just so much more intense than that cypress yellow belly which looks really nice but it doesn't have the same kind of intensity as the one with burn here are all the genes from that clutch this is a honey cypress burn yellow belly this animal honestly is completely nuts the amount of white highlight is really impressing me like when you look at the saddle especially more on the tail you kind of lose all that yellowish coloration that you have there to gain it like some sort of almost all white halonets that you really wouldn't have without the burn this animal honestly is really really impressing we have here burn mojave and you can already tell that the burn mojave really has you know those beautiful allen heads much more highlighted almost like a, some sort of silver gray allen heads overall for a mojave it's just a really really bright mojave but when you add a double dose burn you make it a super burn mojave this is really really impressive we'll go closer on this one here um not only is it a very bright animal but those you know golden allen heads as i like to call them are so intense on this snake it makes just no sense especially when you go closer to the neck you really have those purely white um some sort of like keyholes and Compared to that single gene Mojave, when side by side, you really have, you know, the difference between the burn Mojave and the super form. The super form just highlight those Allen heads so well. So I was so impressed, honestly, when we managed to hit, you know, the very first super burn, which was that uh, super burn Mojave. And I'm really wondering, like, what is it going to look like with yellow belly in there with, you know, orange dream? What it would look like with leopard you know all those beautiful um very bright looking snake what burn can add to that game okay so now that we're into super burns this animal is really cool so this is a enshi super burn so if you guys are really you know good with your enshi stuff you'll be able to tell right away that the super burn here is just enhancing the coloration to a whole other level this is really 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 nice honestly i am so impressed by the saturation inside of the sad inside of the allen head sorry and just like the blushing overall on top of the animal honestly guys i am really really blown away by this next combination and this is probably the one that makes me wonder like what the hell's going on with this gene and this is the super burn yellow belly we're not entirely sure on this one if there's any like the only other gene that we could have here is enshi so I'm thinking that this is the super burn yellow belly only because we've made one with, you know, a very, very different looking pattern, which is um, this one right here. And I think this is super burn and she yellow belly and this one would be super burn yellow belly. But it's crazy to think that honestly, with only yellow belly, you would be able to achieve such a color palette. Like, look at that, you know, side. This is type of sunset colors. It's wild to see it on just a super form with yellow belly. And it only shows me the potential of the burn gene. So when I see this super burn yellow belly, I am so thrilled to, you know, try to work red stripe into it. Do you imagine what red stripe would do in such a combination? I think it would just bring the reds to a whole other level. And when you think about that, what would it do in clown? You know, having a burn inside of, let's say, a red striped yellow belly clown, what it would look like. I'm really, really cursed. So these animals are most likely going to be used in the future in order to make some head clowns and try to work it in the clown. It is a very, very long process to try to, you know, incorporate those new genes inside of, uh, inside of recessive. 
it's all nice to make a burn clown but the whole goal here is not to make just a burn clown we want to work our way all the way up to let's say a burn red stripe yellow belly clown and then even in the pompeii project you know whatever we can add on there so that's what really interesting it's we can not only make a burn clown but we can try to figure out where we want to go inside of that gene and what we want to add this gene really really affects you know the intensity and the orange coloration the flaming you know the burns inside of that snake uh so i think it's going to translate very very well into clown and in the next couple of years, it's really going to be interesting to see where we can take this project and how we're going to work our way onto that goal. Um, as of now, we have a few burn animals that are going to be available. If you're interested in the burn gene, we will be releasing a few of them. Just hit me up on Instagram. Um, I'll have a list there. Eventually, we'll add the gene on Morph Market. Um, but guys, let me know in the comment, what do you think of that gene? You think it's really different? Do you think I'm just, you know overly excited for absolutely nothing i don't think so but let me know in the comments what do you think about that eugene and on this cheers and stay tuned